Thank you for logging on with us here at 41NBC.com. I'm Melissa Lee. Breaking news from Macon's east side. According to Bibb County Coroner Leon Jones, Bibb County Sheriff deputies are investigating a homicide after finding 60-year-old Kelvin Davis dead with two gunshot wounds to the chest. That happened late Sunday night at a home in the Kings Park area. A suspect is in custody. Leaders in Washington have released more details on military budget cuts that will impact the Air Force. A news release from 21st Century says the plans include up to 22 furlough days for 180,000 civilian workers. Now the plan also includes stopping depot maintenance, which the partnership calls the bread and butter of Robbins. The Georgia House of Representatives will vote on a bill this week that abolishes Payne City, which has already passed on the Senate side. When the majority of Macon and Bibb County residents said yes to consolidation, the majority of Payne City residents, nine of the 16 who voted, said no. State Representative James Beverly says he's not ready to sign off on a bill that the majority of his constituents don't support. Now, many of those people told Beverly they're afraid their tiny town will lose its identity. And along with the Payne City bill, the Georgia House of Representatives is expected to vote on a series of bills that would eliminate partisan elections for some offices in Bibb County. State Representative James Beverly and Alan Peek say the bills will likely head to the House floor Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. Now, Peek told 41 NBC in late January he expects the legislation will pass through the House without a problem. At least two people were seriously injured after a car crash at the intersection of Russell Parkway and Lake Joy Road in Warner Robins. Warner Robins police spokesperson Tabitha Pugh said the Sunday morning accident happened after one of the cars ran through a red light. No word on the extent of those injuries. The Dublin couple killed in the 27 car pileup will be laid to rest this week. Clayton and Josephine Warneck died in the crash last Wednesday. The investigation into the wreckage is ongoing. Now, crews finished repairing the roadways at the accident scene this weekend. Visitation for the Warnecks will be held today from 5 to 8 p.m. at Townsend Brothers Funeral Home. Funeral services will be at 11 a.m. Tuesday at Jefferson Street Baptist Church. As the sale of guns and ammunition continues to surge, many local stores are going out of stock. Pondsmart in Byron only has a dozen guns left and very little ammunition. Owner David Hawkins says all future merchandise is on back order. The biggest scare? He has no idea when more guns and ammo will be available. Most of the shoppers were looking for assault rifles. A Jones County nonprofit animal rescue is working to save pets, but it needs your help. Jones County Animal Shelter Director Jennifer Giddens agreed to a one-week pardon, promising not to euthanize any animals. Now, the nonprofit group Pause for Hope and Faith is working to find homes for the dozens, the dozens of cats and dogs at the facility. Now, Pause for Hope and Faith has entered several pardons with animal control centers across Middle Georgia. Brides to be filled the streets of downtown Macon, heading out for a day full of wedding planning, cake tasting, and much more. The Georgia Bridal Show held its annual expo at the Macon City Auditorium Sunday afternoon. It was an event for couples to meet with vendors from across the state as they prepare for their big day. Nearly a thousand people attended this year's event. Join us on air tonight for the news at 6 and 11. Have a great Monday.